The union says the issues of the old SAA have resurfaced. They say their members can no longer afford to come to work or put food on the table. Numsa and Saka are accusing the executive of looting the airline. Workers at SAA are the ones who are taking the full brunt of, of uh, cost cutting. Workers at SAA have had 35% of their salaries and benefits cut. Whilst they've suffered through lockdown without salaries, whilst they've suffered through lockdown with no terse payments and no voluntary severance package payments, whilst the management of this company is looting this airline. The unions have questioned the absence of the Minister of Public Enterprises, Praveen Gordon, in the crisis that befalls the workers. He's missing in action. He has sold this airline after then he does a due diligence, which is not taking off. So he's, he's in the corners, in dark corners, when SOEs are collapsing. Furthermore, the two labor unions accuse the CEO of not wanting to recognize them. SAA management received the petition following a two-hour protest and promised the workers that their grievances are receiving attention. We will listen. We will hear you. Those that we will fix, and we can fix, we will fix. But we will not, and I repeat, not be able to go back to everything that existed pre-business rescue. I think you yourselves are aware of some of the practices that happened there that cannot be continued. SAA has since issued a statement saying that during the pause in operations, it consulted widely with all stakeholders, including unions. The airline believes that all new agreements were negotiated fairly and equitably. It says the CEO recognizes the hard work and dedication that cabin crew members have shown in the time leading to the carrier's relaunch and has thanked staff. Diabo Seto, SAPC News, Johannesburg.